just spent $13 on this fancy uh, More like $15. 13 euro, okay. On this fancy pastry on accident. But it's a delicacy from Triste, so I'm trying not to feel too bad about it. It's 500 grams. <laughs> it's over a pound of walnuts and figs and rum. It's probably gonna be good. It happens. I'm not good at ordering things. <laughs> Get ready to leave Trieste Day after two days of food poisoning wonderfulness. Some nice little track headed towards Quran. on a bike path on the Istrian Peninsula. Second day in Croatia. On this really nice uh, old rail trail. It's about 70 miles we've done. We're gonna end up doing pretty much the whole thing other than a little section where we went to Peran instead. We're chunky out here. say the bike network here in Croatia is just fantastic. It's a lot of this, uh, this gravel but um, no traffic on it and even the gravel is pretty nice. Um, we rode through a section of forest heading up to the Abbey that was like um, similar to Florida in a lot of ways. It had like scrub oak kind of stuff and turkey oak and uh, almost like an oak hammock. Of course it was How my boxers have come off and wedged in my wheel. I have no idea how that happened considering they were tied around. Right. Well, this is the sad result. My poor ex officio boxers somehow went from being tied around that to this side, caught up in the fucking wheel. No idea. It's like magic. Well, after the debacle with my boxers, now we made it to the old town of 
Rogue Ninja. Something like that. I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to say it, but let's get some really nice polished uh, cobblestones. Uh, Croatian beach town in late September. The weather is absolutely perfect. Okay, it's September 26. Jenny is doing some chain maintenance. <laughs> Leaves are nice and uh, substantial. We're getting in between the links. Camped in uh, this little area near the beach with this really old uh, stone wall here. No idea what it was for. It was hot, so we had the tent fully open. Pretty nice campsite. Very off the beaten track. Checking out an ancient Roman water cistern. Right on the uh, beach here. So we came around the corner here in Thula. And I uh, didn't even know this was coming. But it's a uh, Roman arena was finished in 81 AD, so uh, 2,000 years old-ish, pretty cool, kind of a nice surprise. We were almost not going to ride through Pula, but we did. October 1st. We're uh, riding out of Primantura. We had a five day stopover for Jenny's birthday. And now we're taking this wonderful little bike route on the coast. Um, heading towards all these Croatian islands. You can barely see in the distance, probably. October 2nd, we are, I don't know what town we're in, it's kind of a common theme, but it's got a really cool view of this uh, river, heading over to this power plant, we just came down 
the other side and crossed this valley and pushed our bikes up the steepest hill we've ever gone up. So that was super fun. Had a wild pig encounter. Jenny was super excited about. It's growling. Yeah, there's a and like five o'clock in the morning or something, a giant pig came up to the campsite and was just growling at us and snuffling and I shook the tent and it ran off and we never heard from it again. But it was interesting. Pretty sure it was a wild pig based on the grunting and snorting. I made it through Vajika. Pretty cool town. We're riding around this pedestrian area. Sweet clock tower up here. 